Hello, hello. It is Dr. Cherry, your health and wellness educator and your yoga instructor. Today, I'm here to talk to you about our series, How to Maintain Your Health in Times of Uncertainty. And our focus is on yoga. So first and foremost, yoga is a practice. Um, it is not a religion. So I am a Christian believer, believe in Jesus Christ. So um, just want to put that out there for people who are thinking that yoga is a religion. It is not. Um, I am a yoga instructor. I practice yoga. I love yoga. Um, yoga was very beneficial for me when I lost my mom. Um, it helped me to get through that moment in time along with, of course, relying on my um, my my faith. So I just want to give you some um, benefits of yoga. So benefit number one, yoga increases strength. And the way that it increases strength is that it increases our range of motion. So when you're actually doing those weight building exercises, you have better range of motion. So your muscles can develop better. So guys, if you are not practicing yoga, you should. Um, <clears throat> yoga decreases anxiety and stress. So like I said before, it helped me to deal with the passing of my mom. I was able to have better emotions instead of being angry all the time, which was common during that time period for me. Um, yoga increases happiness. I mean, it increases your positivity, your mental well-being. It has a meditative effect, especially when you're focusing on your breathing with your movements. And so it is very beneficial in that way. Yoga alleviates pain. Um, it helps you to relieve pain in a gentle way. There are different types of yoga, so you can find the one that works best for you. I personally enjoy power yoga, and so with power yoga, it's a good workout. It's a good sweat. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting more flexible um, and all those things at the same time. But you can also do things like um, restorative yoga and um, kundalini yoga. There's so many types, and so you can always look for the one that works best for you. And work it out that way yoga is great for spinal care and so it helps to um protect your back from injury so give it a shot if you're having back pain there are great yoga postures like forward fold that help with that i love forward fold it really helps with back pain um yoga helps to lubricate your joints so that's a great way um to stop stiffness from happening and to prevent arthritis because you're doing yoga to help make your joints move better and make them more supple for later years in life. Yoga is also great for bad posture. There's a great focus on lengthening your spine spine, and stacking your joints. And so that's really good to correct any kind of posture um, issues you may have. And also yoga reduces cellulite. So it helps with lymphatic damage and improves your circulation and it boosts your immunity. And so all of those help with reducing cellulite. So if you haven't tried yoga, I highly recommend it. Um, I do offer virtual yoga. If you're interested, you can always sign up with me for a class, but yoga is great, great, great on your body and your mind. And for me, it helped me to also connect my spirituality because I could focus on um, my Christianity teachings as I practice yoga. So. If you have not tried yoga, give it a shot. Remember, there are many, many, many different forms of yoga. You can find the one that works best for you. I am a fan of power yoga. That's usually what I teach. Um, but there are other forms. So find the one that works for you. Give it a shot. Make it happen. There are also videos on YouTube. I have some on YouTube um, that you can try out for yoga. If you don't want to just go to a class when everything opens up, if you're going to go out there, which I'm not. But anyway, um, you can definitely try YouTube yoga and hear how the um how to move into different postures and see it versus trying to just look at pictures because you may hurt yourself if you just look at pictures. So definitely listen to what the instructor is saying and work on moving your body in a way that will help support it and prevent injury. So there you have it. Yoga is our topic for today. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.